Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode 178. Today, today is a sad day. Today is the end of an era, the end of one of the most prestigious streaks in Supercard history. And that is Supercard Hall of Fame's undefeated run in Battleground. I am sad to announce it has come to an end. Uh, it's just disappointing. Now, I already claimed the rewards. It's The claim phase is already over, so unfortunately I can't... I don't think I can show you guys um, what, what what happened, but I'm going to have a look if I can. But we're going to just change, first of all, the score from 21-0. Instead of making it 22-0, it is now 21-1. and 1. That is insane. Like, how, of, of all numbers, why do we have to end on 21-1? and 1? That's crazy, but there we go. Save those changes. I never expected to get a 21 and 0 in the first place. I thought we might win like I don't know, two out of three, something like that. I thought that'd be great, but yeah, <laughs> 21 and and oh, great. Really happy with that. Anyway, guys, we've got a little announcement here, and that's what I wanted to get onto next, and that is for Battleground this coming weekend. So, starting from the 30th, I think it said. In Battleground, you'll be able to get throwbacks, Hall of Fame cards, um, fusions, all of that. Now, not in the rewards, in the actual cards themselves when you start one. Instead of getting just normal hard and delete ultimates in WrestleManias, you will be getting the throwbacks, Hall of Fames, all of those. So, yeah, makes it a little bit funner, I suppose. A little added incentive to play, but overall, it's not, you know, it kind of stays the same. So guys, apart from all of that, now that, that's what I wanted to say. I'm actually not going to start a battleground until um, until tomorrow, actually, because just fuck it, you know. Um, bit sick of battleground. I think the whole team is a bit sick of of the just everything in general right now, waiting for a new tier to come out. And I want to get the team kind of uh, in a good place before we get some uh, before we get into another battleground. So, oh. So, wait, who's the other person who left then? That's so weird. Oh, no, I, did I just recruit him? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I've just recruited Sean. Welcome to the team, my man. Uh, he has got a nice amount of games played, more than me, that's for sure. Uh, no event cards, but given the benefit of the doubt, I like I like that. I like to see that he's got some games played. I'll give him a shot. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how that all ends up. But, yeah, welcome to the team for now, man. And yeah, apart from that, we're just we're just waiting really for a new tier. But um, we're gonna play a little bit of RTG. We're gonna at least show you some RTG, guys. And it's a little bit it's, it's exciting because I've actually gotten up really early for once in my life. I got up at like ten past nine, got on my phone, started grinding, got to like the second game, and was like, hmm, I'm hungry. Went to get some breakfast. Then started binge watching a series, and I'm like, shit, shit. I was meant to get up really early on purpose to play some RTG, but we're gonna we're gonna do well, I think. We're gonna do well in this RTG. We're not gonna leave it to the last day and make it a grind. But before any of that, guys, we've got two good cards that we need a pro. I'm gonna do that right now. So both these Brock Lesnar are done. Both these Sasha Banks are done. I don't even have to check. It is confirmed. I hope it's confirmed. Actually, let me just check. <laughs> let me just check. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're good. They're good. I am not even going to check. There we go, guys. Barack Lesnar is a pro. Sweet. Sasha Banks. And that means now I've got a full WrestleMania deck as soon as I replace her for the Alexa Bliss. So that's going to be sick. That's going to really help me out as well in the later uh, stages of this RTG. Sasha Banks is pro that is pretty sick. <laughs> All those Daniel Bryans. Okay, so let's go to general cards. Let's go lock those bad boys in. Um, Triple H is here. He hasn't got his games played, so that's why. I, I'm not sure if he will actually be better than Goldberg. Um, I don't know. We'll see where Triple H is going to get. I put this picture on Seth Rollins because I really like it. But I've also got this one I could put on. But it doesn't look... I don't know. It kind of looks sick. But... It's between it's between these two for me. The Money in the Bank one. Oh, what about this one? 
I mean, that one looks sick. It does, it does. But you can't not have the one with the title. You just can't. So we're going to have the one with the title. Um, apart from that, there are a lot of wrestlers that I just didn't manage to get pictures from back in Season 1, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I would have loved to get a lot more, but it is what it is. Anyway, there's Brock Lesnar. Let's lock him in. There's Sasha Banks. Brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do now... As you can see, I have unlocked all of the normal Ultimate Pros I had left. Um, and yes, I have left all the events for a little while at least still. But eventually, I want to start getting rid of some of these cards, you know. Um, Samojo, well, actually, we'll get, in, we'll get onto that later. Let me just level up this Sasha Banks. I'm not, I don't even need to sandbag King of the Ring anymore. If I want to win a King of the Ring, do not need to sandbag it. Um, Xavier Woods, wow, so many cards we can get rid of. Archery, Brian Country, Xavier Woods, Finn Balor, that Finn Balor. Alright, let's, let's do that already. So that's one Finn Balor, that's the other Finn Balor. Xavier Woods, Brian Kendrick, R Truth, brilliant. I don't know what that was. Br brilliant. Level 55, that's what we wanted. Um, toughness and charisma. You know what? I actually forgot she was a toughness charisma card. That is she toughness that's so weird. Okay, and then power speed is her worst stat apparently. Okay, let's confirm those tokens. Yes, please. Uh okay, wow. What? Sasha Banks is like better than Dean Ambrose. <laughs> that is mental. That is so fucking mental. Wow. Okay, um, and she hasn't even got a games played. Wow, I that, I clicked. No, there's no way. I must. I must have. Uh, I must not have played the game for Dean Ambrose. There's no way such banks is better than Dean Ambrose with playing no games on the card. That is no. That's just not possible. Anyway, um, Brock Lesnar's our next card. Let's see if we can get rid of some more cards that we don't need. Bobby Roode obviously we're keeping, and all the others will just. That's fine. Okay, so we'll get rid of. Uh, we'll get rid of Nijax. We'll get rid of John Cena. I think those two alone will be good enough, to be totally fair. Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> Power toughness. Yes, please. Uh, give me some speed. Give me some toughness. I mean, charisma, I suppose. Why not? And there we go, guys. Two more pros added to the list. That's great. Brock Lesnar is going to be fantastic. Um, he's definitely going to get into my deck. So is that Sasha Banks. Really, really good. Let's get into some RTG, guys. All right, guys. Here we go. Just before we get into some RTG gameplay, it is time to autofill my RTG deck to see where this now gets us. Um, remember, where well, Brock Lesnar basically and Sasha Banks. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. Um, there we go, guys. That's it. But that is so sick. That is really sick. So I've got my kind of compatible tag with the females. I've got now, like, the, this Bailey kind of annoys me because it's, like, two Baileys, technically. But I ain't complaining. If I could get, like, um, Alexa Bliss, Alexa Bliss would be really sick. Uh, WrestleMania 33, so she could tag with Sasha. But apart from that, I'm not really, I'm not really complaining. My worst card right now, like my worst card, is uh, Y2J Chris Jericho. That's just so crazy. Braun Strowman doesn't even get into my deck right now. Um, Seth Rollins is on the last line with AJ Styles. That is just crazy. To be fair, if we'd have got John Cena, that really would have completed it, wouldn't that? John Cena is the only pro now we're missing. Of like the top top tier of the elites, uh, and I think Roman Reigns would just get in here as well. But yeah, that's what my deck's looking like. Let's quickly check out how my uh, Ring Dom deck doesn't change at all. <laughs> doesn't change at all. But we do want to put that Paul Heyman in there because they do like taking it away from me when I don't want that to happen. Did they take it away in RTG? They did. Uh, Paul Heyman, please. Yep, that's exactly how I want it. Let's get straight into it. It's finally a full. WrestleMania deck now, um, that's crazy. Let's get into some plus 10s. And, uh, well, actually, I haven't even showed you guys RTG and who there is, but obviously by the time you're watching this, you guys will know uh, who the cards are in the RTG. But I am going to show everything, and uh, 
mention a couple words as well about it. And there are just a couple things that I've been doing with Supercard over the last couple of weeks, maybe the last month, um, without really letting you guys know too much about it because, well, it has been getting a little bit boring. So you, I always try and try and find something to bring the game a remotely fun again, you know, um, wait in, uh, at least until we wait for a new tier or a new game mode or a new something, you know, um, and I will, I will get into that for a little bit at the end of this video, it's not massively important, but, you know, I think most of you guys know about it, I talk about it a lot in other tiers, but anyway, let's just get on, let's get on with this game and I'll talk to you guys about that at the end. And there's also Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown to talk about. So let's have a couple words about that. Again, I'm going to kind of take the biggest part of Monday Night Raw and the biggest part of Smackdown and kind of mash that up and talk about that. Um, and then just forget everything else. So let's talk about on Raw. Um, for me, what I try to, you know, it's, it's so messed up how I don't remember what goes on. It just proves that not much goes on when, when I physically can't remember most of what happened. I'm pretty sure I know the part I want to talk about. I just need to make sure that is what I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, okay. There's nothing else happened like that bigger than what I wanted to talk about. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk one word about the women's gauntlet match. Um, I'm happy Sasha Banks won because I think Sasha Banks... It was just lost feuding with Alicia Fox, and I think Sasha Banks is definitely up there. And it's a good wrestler, and I enjoy watching her. And I think it's good. Nia Jax had a good run. I think they they kind of both look strong. I'm okay with it. I want Alexa to go. I, I kind of want Alexa to win, as because I really love Alexa. The only her, Alexa's only problem is she needs to kind of work in her in in ring ability. Sorry, Sasha's is a bit better. Um, Maybe, maybe quite a bit. On the mic, charisma-wise, you know, Alexa, Alexa's great. She excels in that. But maybe in-ring, I'm not saying she's awful. God, no, God, she's not as bad as the Divas back in the day in their bras and panties match. As much as I enjoyed those matches, you know, I can admit, no, Alexa's good. But she can get better in the ring for sure. So maybe they're going to give it to Sasha, the belt I'm talking about. So I don't know, but I am looking forward to that match. I am genuinely looking forward to it. So I think that's great. The last thing I want to talk about on Raw is Samoa Joe choking out Barack. Why isn't that? Um, really excited for this feud, okay? Like, I've read down to in the comments, and I was, I'm was so surprised. I thought more people would love this feud. And, and like, I'm loving it right now. This is, It's been a while since the feud this intense, and it's been so equally... Maybe not even equally. Samoa Joe has been getting the upper hand, and that is so rare. Um, in, in anyone who faces Brock Lesnar. I know we just saw that with Goldberg, but this is, this is interesting. This is making it interesting. I think Brock will win, but I'll give you guys that for my predictions of Great Balls of Fire. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the segment. I really did. I really did. Um, he didn't like fully choke him out, and I think that's good. We'll, we'll, we can see a continuation of this over the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, mad excited for their, for their match at Great Balls of Fire, the main event. So yeah, that's sick. And there we go, guys. We just used our Sasha Banks against the Lisa Fox as well. Um, so quick word on SmackDown, guys. Again, I'll just mm, talk kind of about the biggest part on SmackDown, really. Um, yeah, and that is the money in the bank. So... Like, I think this one in the bank was better than the one they actually had at the pay-per-view. Um, it was, there were a couple botches in there, or a couple things that didn't look amazing. But I thought they put in a good effort, really did. And I'm really happy Carmella won. Really happy. Deserved winner. She's going to do great with the briefcase. She's she's going to do good. I think she is really, really, uh, James, James Ellsworth is being really good right now, like funny-wise. Not good as in like, I'm good as in like, uh, kayfabe, because he is, he's doing his role as what he's paid to do, and that is be stupid, goofy, funny, obnoxious, and just a little dickhead, and he's playing the role perfectly. Um, so yeah, can't, no, no complaints about there. And then, the biggest thing to happen between both SmackDown and Raw, and that is, Braun! And... That was fantastic. So happy he's back. 
God, I've missed him. I've missed him so much. I never, ever thought in a million years when he debuted for the Wyatt family that I would ever miss him when he was injured, you know? I just... Thank God. Thank God he's back. He's definitely been missed. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, I've really, en I really enjoyed... Uh, I, I really, I did enjoy Raw. Really enjoyed SmackDown. Like, genuinely really did enjoy SmackDown. I thought it was good. I'm happy with everything that's happened. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Yay. Okay, uh, apart from that, what is it? It's Thursday today, which means I'm gonna have to wait ages for Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> ages. Uh, let's go with that. How have we not finished this RTG game yet? I must have started another one. I don't know. Must have. Oh wait. Okay. Just looking at anything else I wanted to talk about. About Raw or SmackDown, but. Oh wait, did Braun Strowman return? The week. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He returned on the 19th. I already... That was... That was last week's Raw. I'm just starting to realise that now. That was last week's Raw. Braun came in the ambulance uh, in the arena and then... Uh, and then Roman attacked Braun and then Braun got the upper hand and then... Braun shoved Roman into the ambulance. That's... That was last Raw. Braun returning was the Raw week for that. Awkward. <laughs> yeah. That proves how much I paid. No, like, honestly, guys, it's it's hard. I don't watch Raw, like, sitting up at my desk. I'm like, oh, Raw, yay, let me watch every single second. No. I'm in bed, put it on my computer, for trying to fall asleep. I don't know, playing a bit of soup card on my phone, giving about zero fucks about Raw. But no, no, yeah. That's pretty much it, though. But, yeah, Braun, I think is the top moment over like the last two weeks then him him coming back that's what we should do we should implement a new segment like after well after monday night raw and tuesday night smackdown like the following episode from both of those we'll do like a kind of recap where we take the best moment from all the best moment from smackdown and then the best moment overall and then yeah but that's, we should definitely do something like that okay so we're gonna end it here guys on the roman reigns grind um Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, what else did I... Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And that is... Boom! Look what picture I put on this Brock Lesnar. How sick does that look? No, seriously. No, like, seriously. And then like that Samoa Joe's got the NXT Championship on. Uh, that looks so sick. Stop. Oh, we need a Seth Runs of N card so I can put that picture on it as well. But... Looks so sick. We need Jinder with the title as well. That would have been so dank. Did I just say dank? It's not. Shouldn't shouldn't say that. That's, it's not not in my vocabulary. Let's put that picture on because it just does look that freaking sick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace out and take care. Bye.